Between 1751 and 2017, Africa accounted for a tiny sliver, less than 3% of global CO2 emissions. Yet, 35 of the 50 countries most vulnerable to climate change are on the African continent. My name is Fiona Topfle, and this is My Green in 60. We must ensure that African countries that contribute at least to climate change don't bear the brunt of its impact. This obviously should include funding for adaptation and resilience efforts. But we are also working with African clients to find synergies between decarbonization and economic growth. Sustainable agriculture, for example, can reduce emissions while improving farming productivity. And Africa, which has abundant renewable energy resources, can become a hub for green products, including green hydrogen. Such projects can reduce poverty and drive social and economic development in Africa while advancing the global push for net zero. And that's my green and 60.